All right, so today's tutorial I'm really excited about. We're gonna be making bottle designs and everything you're gonna see is completely procedural, so let's get right into it. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make tons of models similar to these right here. Now, if you are not interested in the tutorial and you're just looking for assets, this is an entire pack, all procedural, all kinds of cool stuff. You can buy that. It's all linked in the description. You can go check that out. As well for Patreon, everybody on tier two and three will be getting this pack for free. So you can go and check out the Patreon if you're not on there already and get exclusive tutorials and things like that. And also this pack completely free. All right, so the way you make these bottles is you hit shift A and you go down to curve and you select path. So I'm gonna hit R, Y, 90. And here is my path. So what you can do is you would hit tab and say select this guy right here and I'm gonna pull them out, and I'll pull this guy out a little bit. And so now we have it, it's a little bit curved. Now, how do you make it a bottle? You go to the modifiers, add modifier, and add screw. Now it's all messed up, looks like a plate. You would actually go to axis and change it to X, and now you have like a raindrop or something. So you go back to hit hit tab again, and say I'm gonna hit shift and drag these two here, and I'm gonna bring this guy out, and I'm gonna bring this guy out, now you have like a flask. So making these bottles, it's a little bit annoying and frustrating to make off the top of your head. So I'm gonna hit and I'm just gonna go to the front here. I'm hit shift A and I'm gonna actually add an image. I'm gonna click reference and I'm gonna go and pick a image reference. So I'm gonna pick this bottle here as a reference. So now what I have to do, shift A, go ahead and add a curve and select my path. I'm gonna hit R, Y, 90. And I'm gonna take this picture here bring them back a second and then go back. And so now I have, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale them up to fit these edges here and then I'm gonna hit tab and now I'm gonna go about actually designing this. So right here, I'm basically out of points to use. See, this is the design here, but I'm out of points. I need it to be basically more flexible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab again. And I'm gonna hit select this point, hold down shift and select this point here, right click and subdivide and now I can go about actually going back and fitting this to our design here. And now that we have more vertices, I'm gonna subdivide it again so that I can get a little bit more control here on this vase and start actually mimicking what this guy looks like. And so just bring it in just like that. So now we have the basic design and I can delete this. So we have this guy, add the screw, change the axis to X, but we're not done yet because this looks pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do is add a solidify and make it solidify twice. And then I'm gonna add a subdivision surface and I'm gonna put the viewport at two. So now we have this guy, the bottom is open. So we're gonna go back to tab and what I always do is I click this one right here and, and I'm gonna hit E for extrude, E and then Z to just bring it straight down, E, Z one more time and hit E X and I bring it in just like that. And now the bottom is closed off. Now for the top, we want a nice lip. Now this is a nice lip already, but I wanna get it a little better. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit E Z, the Z axis, E Z, and then E X, bring it in. And now we have a much nicer lip here on the bottle. So this is how you make these procedural bottle designs. All right, so now I'm gonna show you two different shaders for this just for fun should give you a jump start on being creative with this so i'm going to turn off bloom i'm going to take this guy and bring off the background so i'm going to go ahead and click new here and i'm going to open up a color ramp add the color ramp right here so i'm going to hit this plus icon to get a guy in the middle and i'm gonna, I'm gonna get a fairly dark color so i'm going to go ahead with a nice orange or brown look looking and bring it up and say bring it about that dark and then i'm going to go to the hex here and I'm gonna hit control C, copy the hex, and paste that hex code on the last one. And I'm also gonna paste it here in the middle one, but after I paste it, I'm gonna bring the color up here pretty high up. So now we have these two dark ones. So let's add in a gradient. Here's the gradient texture, plug it in here. And now we have the dark here, the dark up here, and the dark in the middle, and then we can go in and we can tighten that. Now this is cool all on its own, but I wanna go farther with this. I wanna go farther with this and add some bump action. So I'm gonna add a bump node right here. Put that there. I'm gonna add a color ramp. Plug that here to the height. Let's add a noise. 
Now, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on selected, you can hit Control T, add a quick texture setup, and I'm gonna switch it to the object coordinate here. And then right here, I'm gonna add a separate X, Y, Z, plug that there, and now it circles around my object like this, and we get a nice look. Here on the strength, I'm gonna bring it down. And now we have this really cool thing. So you can bring up the detail some, bring down the strength some more. And now we have this design. Now the last thing I wanna do is play with the, the roughness. So C-O-L, color ramp. Let's add the color ramp here to the roughness and add this noise texture to that color ramp. Now let's just bring in the black portion just like this so we can just tighten it up. So we can just tighten it up. Now we have a little bit of fun happening here. Now let's light this guy. So let's bring him up to the bottom and let's add in a simple cube and bring it down just like that. So now we have the cube and I'm gonna shift A, add my camera just like this. And for the camera, I like to go to the camera settings down here and add an 85 millimeter lens, zoom this guy out and bring it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a background RX90 to flip him back. Go back here, and we're gonna scale it all the way up. So now we have this. I'm actually bringing it farther back because I know what I'm gonna do here with the lighting really quick. So I'm going to stay here in Cycles for the Cycles engine, and let's go ahead and add in a light. So we're gonna add an area light, bring it all the way up here and scale it up pretty far. And then we're gonna hit Render and see how that looks. Really nothing's happening. I'm gonna go to the World Settings and bring my light all the way to black. And then go to the Light Settings, I'm gonna give it three hundred on my light settings. Now we're already getting something really nice. Let's add in another color, not a color ramp, sorry, a area light. And I'll just bring him I'll bring this guy this direction. If you hit R twice, you can try to rotate these lights wherever you want. And I'm gonna give this a strength of three hundred as well. And I'm gonna give this guy over here, scale him up just a tad bit more. And let's see how that looks. All right, it's already looking nice. One more. We're gonna hit Shift D and get this guy. I'm gonna scale him down a little bit. Hit R twice to make him point. And I wanna have a really bright light here in the back. So I'm gonna actually take this guy and I'm gonna scale him up this direction. And I'm gonna give him a strength of 1000 because I want a really skinny I want a skinny but very, very bright light hitting this highlight here on the back of the vase, just like this. It's kind of overpowering my background here. It's hitting it. I don't like that, so I'm going to bring him back some more. And just like this. So now we have a really bright highlight here, and then some nice lights go in this direction. They're not quite bright enough for me. Um, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to give it a strength of 500 and render that. And the one above, of course, give it a strength of 500 as well. And now we have this setup right here. And it looks really, really nice. Here in the background, we're just going to give it a simple dark shader. And we're going to put that same shader here on the box. And now we have this simple lighting setup. Now, I told you I was going to show you two shading setups. So I'm going to show you one more that's really cool that's fairly similar to this one, which is with that separate XYZ here. So I'm going to go to the lighting here. I'm going to click Scene World, Scene Lights, so that I can see what I'm working with. All right, so now I have the bottle. I'm going to just X out on this material, and I'm going to create a new one. Plug this here, and I'm going to go with a nice green right in this area. Probably look bad, maybe around there. And control C, whoops. So I'm gonna control C and copy this hex. And then we're gonna add another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control paste that green in there, but make it pretty dark. So we have a lighter version, a darker version, and then a white. So now what I wanna do is same thing, is add a noise. Add this noise texture right here. And I'm gonna hit control T to add that texture setup and put it in the object coordinate here. All right, now I'm gonna add a gradient. Gradient texture here, plug this vector into here, add a mix RGB, 
and plug this gradient texture into this. Now, before I play with anything more, now, so now we already have one cool shader, yet yeah, you could actually stop here. One thing I'm gonna do, one thing I'm gonna do real quick is bring my roughness all the way down. So now we already have a really cool, really nice shader, but I'm not done yet. What I'm gonna do next here is on the noise texture, add a separate XYZ right here and plug it right here in the noise line. So we get this here. Now this is cool, but back here, let's just play with it again. Add a noise texture and add a mix RGB. Plug it into here and then add the object coordinate so we can tell it how much of this noise to use because right now it just looks crazy. So let it load. And now, again, here we already have another cool shader. Let's bring the detail all the way up. We already have another really cool shader here. Um, but I'm going to bring the factor all the way back over here and just bring it a little bit. And now we have this. All I'm going to do, all I have left to do here is add a noise texture. I mean, sorry, a bump. I've been saying noise a lot. Let's add a noise, a bump, plug that into the normal here, plug this mix into the height, let that load. And then all we have to do is bring down the strength once that's finished. Bring down the strength. And now we have a really nice ceramic kind of interesting shader here. And now we have this really cool design. Now the beauty of this being completely procedural, if you want to go crazy, say I'm going to subdivide this again, and I can go and add some more detail to this. So plug this here, bring that out, say subdivide that, take this one, subdivide that, and then we can just bring this back in a little bit. And now I have another completely new vase design. So because it's all procedural, you can have a lot of fun and you make some really cool designs using references and having some fun. So there you go. That's a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed something. You can go grab that pack down in the description if you want to see all 21 models, all 21 procedural materials and things like that. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.